Hi, it's Zoe from the Practical Travellers and today we've got a guide for you of Cockney rhyming slang and we've picked our top 10 of the ones that we most remember, uh, the ones that we think are quite often used and that you might hear if you come travelling to England. So, without further ado, let's get started. So let's dive straight in with our first one. And this is a really great one to illustrate exactly how Cockney rhyming slang works. And what you do is you would take the last part of the phrase, in this case, it's apples and pears, and it's the pears part of it that rhymes with the word that it means. So pears rhymes with stairs. So rather than saying, I'm going upstairs, you would say, I'm going up the apples and pears. And this is one that I think most people will have heard of. It's certainly one that growing up in South London, I certainly had heard of and certainly one that, um, not that it was really used, but we were very much aware of it. So it's a good one to kind of get you into the swing of things and to get you starting to think about the way that Cockney rhyming slang works. So let's move on to number two. So the next one follows exactly the same pattern. Artful dodger, meaning lodger, with the dodger rhyming with lodger. So a lodger being somebody that rents a property from you, they are lodging with you. So an artful dodger is a lodger. Number three is, you might have forgotten to put your Alan Wickers on, meaning you've forgotten your knickers. Your Alan Wickers would be your knickers. So number four on our list is Adam and Eve. Would you Adam and Eve it? Meaning, would you believe it? So that's Adam and Eve for believe. Really simple one, nice and easy one. And one that I think probably quite a lot of people use and probably are familiar with. If you're loving our guide to Cockney Rhyming Slang, uh, please subscribe to us. We've got lots and lots of different videos on our channel from travel guides to guides to how to pronounce places in London, places in the UK. Great for anyone that's travelling to the UK or anyone that's in the UK. So please hit the subscribe button. I've stuck some arrows there next to it. We'd absolutely love you to join us and everyone that subscribes, you can be sure that we will be doing a super happy dance. Our next one is loaf of bread, meaning your head. Or if you come from South London, you might say your head, completely missing off the H, your head. Something that people might say rather than saying loaf of bread is they might say use your loaf, meaning think about it. Come on, use your loaf, think about what you're doing. So that's a good one to remember. Our next one is Hank Marvin, with Marvin rhyming with starving. And you might say, God, ain't half a bit Hank Marvin, meaning you're really starving. Hank Marvin rhyming with starving, because quite often in certain dialects within the English language, we wouldn't always pronounce the G on the end. So instead of it being starving, we might say starving. So it's Hank Marvin rhyming with starving. So moving on to our next one, half inch, meaning pinch. And I don't mean where you get two fingers and you pinch someone, I mean nick something, steal something. Half inch, meaning pinch. But it's unlikely that somebody from London would actually say half inch, they're more likely to pronounce it half inch. Again, completely forgetting about the H, you drop it off, half inch. And what you'd probably say is, he's half inched it, meaning he's pinched it, he's half inched it, or I'm going to half inch it from someone. So that's half inch or half inch for pinch. And sadly, this brings us on to our last one in this particular set of Cockney Rhyming Slangs. And this one is Duck and Dive, 
meaning scythe. Scythe, if you're not familiar with that term, means sort of truant. It means sort of scything off of work, getting off of work, um, but doing it without anybody knowing about it. You're scything. So what someone also might say is, well, you know, I can do a little bit of ducking and diving. Um, sort of scything, not really doing what they should be doing and uh, not necessarily doing something legal. They might be ducking and diving, doing something they shouldn't be. And that's it for this part of our top 10 Cockney rhyming slangs. I hope you've enjoyed them. And if you've got any that you remember uh, that you're particularly fond of or that you remember being said when you were maybe younger, then please do add them to our comments. We love to see them. We love to hear them. There's loads that we remember from when we were little growing up in South London. And um, we'll try and feature some of them in our next video. Remember to hit the subscribe button. That would be great. That would help us out a lot. And we'll see you again soon. Thanks so much for watching.